Okay, this is a five-minute drum lesson on a hand technique, um, and this isn't covering a specific um, technique, but just sort of some general stuff to think about when you're practicing and learning how to play. Um, let's talk about how you hold the stick. I hold the stick like this. That's how I prefer to do it. Now, if you play like this, this is called French grip. If you play with your wrist extremely turned over like that, that's German grip. And somewhere in between is like a relaxed German grip is the American grip, which is what I play with most of the time. Um, I like to put my thumb and my first finger on either side of the stick for my fulcrum point. But let me be honest with you, there are many times where, and you can probably tell from my videos, where I shift the fulcrum point here and my first finger isn't really used for much. Which brings me to what I find to be kind of an interesting point that I heard recently on a Tommy Igo video. In his video, if I understand correctly, he's not advocating a specific technique as being the perfect or right technique. He's more of a, comes from the, the background of uh, school of thought of just doing whatever it takes to get the job done. And I think that's sort of how I approach it too. I hadn't really thought about it though, but I do realize that I change my technique or my grip and how I play based on what I'm doing. Some of it's conscious, some of it's probably not so conscious, but it's something that I do. But in general, this is what I like to tell students as a good starting point. Great place to start, thumb on one side of the stick, first finger on the other side of the stick, that's your fulcrum point, your back finger's rather loose, so now you got some play. So when you, when you play, the stick can have some movement to it. If you need to do diddles, it'll do it. If you just need to play single notes, it'll do it. If you need to play a note and hold the stick down, just squeeze a little bit with all the fingers. Don't death grip it. Just kind of squeeze it a little bit to absorb some of the rebound shock. And it stays down. Up. Down. Up. Okay, so I'm a big advocate of the wrist. Your wrist needs to work. It needs to go up and down. A lot of people can't even do this that play drums. Your wrist needs to move. This is where you're playing, in my mind. Your arm is more of a directional tool. So if I need to go over here, I'm gonna move my arm. Go over here, I move my arm. If I need to reach for something, I move my arm. Um, or if I need more power, if I've got a big crash cymbal or a big drum hit or something, I'll use my arm to give me some extra kick. But in general, I'm using my wrist for everything. I try to, it's important to me have good developed wrists. You know, I have a pretty good range of motion with my wrists. My wrists are pretty well developed. Works well for me. Arms more of a directional tool or a power tool. Not a fan of using your arm for everything that you do because it looks kind of chaotic and can sound chaotic and yeah. But all that stuff said, there are many different techniques you can use to create rebound or to keep the stick down or to do rolls with you know either this focal point or this focal point, whatever is comfortable for you. There are people that even play like this, and I play very well this way. And if I played like this, uh, there's been times where maybe I cut my hand or got a blister or something, or I had a cramp really bad, and so I just flip this finger over the stick and just grip it there, and it works very well. It's a very natural grip for me, and I see a lot of people play like this because um, they have uh, various issues with their hands that make it difficult for them to do that. But uh, sometimes other people play like with this grip because it allows them to get into a stick twirl easily. And I don't generally do a lot of stick twirling in my playing, so I don't really do a whole lot of that. But. All right. So, um, and then uh, traditional versus match. There's absolutely no reason to play traditional grip anymore unless you come from a, go to a, like you're playing snare drum and marching band and they require you to have that because they want that look. There's absolutely no reason to do this, but I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying it's bad. This works perfectly fine. The only reason why you play traditional grip is if you like the way it looks or you like the way it feels. It does not really lend itself to being a better grip or a worse grip than match grip. So with my middle school students or my beginning students, they want me to teach them traditional grip all the time. I just tell them there's absolutely no reason to learn that unless you're specifically doing that stuff.